Alright, let's gonna let's start with some launch lizard. Um I wanna play around and get some chords to set a nice tempo of like 86. How does that go? You can go slower. 76. Alright. And let's see. Ooh, okay, nice. Good feel on the keys actually. First time trying it. Um, I like it, so let's see how it goes. I'm gonna put the mic down so I can uh, try and play something. That's a pretty cool idea. Um, just experimenting with these uh, seven chords in uh, what is this? G, G major? Yeah, G major. <laughs> learning my chords though, learning my keys. Self-taught, of course, so you know. Gotta get the theory down to become the best musician that I can be. Best artist. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's play around with it and see what we can get. Alright. Let's record that, why not? I'm getting ideas flowing, so let's just try it out. All right, let's try and fix it up a bit because it's not perfect. Um, but I do like the little strums, so let's figure it out. It's a pretty simple progression chord, but chord progression, progression chord, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah, pretty simple chord progression, but let's go ahead and do it. So pretty nice. Now, this is pretty nice. We need some like super chill drums. Make it a bit more cinematic, you know what I mean? Like, uh, gotta imagine the landscape and stuff. But let's try and add more melodies first. I got Analog Lab right here. Let's, just, let's see what we can find. just found a school guitar sound I might actually layer the chords um, wait I need gotta put the mic down but you'll see it <laughs> look at that just filled it up like crazy put some effects on it in a bit and then yeah, that's gonna be fire. Let's add another uh, analog lab. Gotta find a lead or something to add a little melody. And I think we're gonna add a hybrid bass because it sounds really very chill. But let's try and find a lead. Alright, we got a really good uh, melody for the first two chords. Now we gotta figure out the last two chords. That'll be a nice 
four bar loop that we can just change up in the next one make it a nine bar loop and then it's gonna sound amazing chat <laughs> i got so used to streaming y'all i never made a youtube video before like this so bear with me guys bear with me <laughs> Right, we got the first chord down. <laughs> it sounds sick though. We can even add like a dun dun dun. Oh, and then we get dun dun. Think this has potential? Let's let's listen to it. This one needs to be softer. All of them need to be softer actually. Like that. This is nice. Alright, hold on, my laptop is dying, gotta get my charger. Alright, let's see what we else what else we need here. We need a bass. Um, let's go hybrid. Yeah, bro, that's... Alright, let me record this. a quick tip you guys might know just uh, take it all up an octave this or two octaves and you can see if everything sounds good in key um. yeah it's like it's given that that lo-fi uh it's not so it's not perfect but like it's it's it, it works you know it just works it sounds good i think so let's keep going uh let's start throwing things into the mixer um start with this guitar uh, let me just do that every, everything quickly You already know, gotta get that RC20 on. Uh, let's save this project before FL Studio crashes, because I have a feeling. 
Oh no. Okay, no, it's good. I thought it was gonna crash. I was so scared. <laughs> there we go. Last time. That's what I'm gonna call it. For now. <laughs> I might change the name later. But let's start. Uh... I love the. I love the static. I need a little bit of like. Uh, RC20 on the piano, but like without any extra vinyl. I'm gonna go to sad piano preset. Close that. It's just like, it's a slight detail, you know, but it's beautiful. Alright, this, this lead, let's see what we don't need here. Let's, uh, let's uh, delay, delay it a bit. The ping pong, that's what I always do. Lower the level, the wet. Need a little bit more delay. I mean, there you go. Almost sounds like a guitar, but not really. You know what I mean? Let's get this bass. Chop up the high end a bit. Yeah, there you go. Sounding nice. Let's put a... Let's add some gain with the tube compressor. Make it sound a bit nicer. I'll smoothen it out a bit. I love this. Let's go. Like I called it earlier, <laughs> FL Studio crashed. Um, but let's try and open it back up again. <laughs> That's so funny. Let's see how much of it is saved. <laughs> That's so funny, man. That's sad. Alright, should we back to where we were before we added Arcade? Um, I don't know what it was, actually. What was it? It was this one? Let's try this. Yeah, it was this one. Alright, let's try and make a melody again. I didn't add one of the things that I did wanted to add. Um, so, I'm gonna try and play around with it but i think the recording sounds pretty good we'll just have to put a lot of effects on it so it's very subtle i don't want it to be very out there but you'll see what i mean Here's a little trick that I do with Arcade, as you just saw me do it. Um, I basically take the melody, put it in a new channel called Arcade. I just quickly quick render this audio clip. And then it's so, so much easier to work with. I mean, yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you in a second. So I put the Arcade in here, put the patterns in here, boom. Right, then we can chop it off here. Uh, just like this and then like literally we can just put all the effects on here track it right and then boom there we go and then we can mess around with it and now let's add some effects that'll be it for the melody uh pretty much and then the rest is just the fillers which i'll do in another video
So my whole goal with this is to make it very reverby, very spacey. Actually, I'm going to put a compressor on it as well, just to add a bit of gain. And then we can just turn it down from here. But this makes it sound more full, I think. Not a, I'm not an expert, I just ta teach myself and experiment with things, so I feel like that's the whole point. So see, it kind of sounds way more soft now like than what it used to be before. And then if I combine it with everything else... So this, like, the vocals will only really come in once it's, like, um, fully built up. The rest of the track is going to be like this, or just this, you know. Like, it's just, you just build it up, you add the melody slowly, slowly. The track gets fuller, and then, like, you can even add, like, we can add, we can add more stuff, you know, like, you, there's no limit to this, but... That's basically the melody, and I'll continue with the drums. I'll make some drums, some percussion. I don't want to fill it up too much, since I am trying to make a more cinematic lo-fi beat. So yeah, guys, this was the melody that I made today. It was very, very cozy, very, uh, very wintry tone, I think. It's perfect for this album that I'm making. Hope you guys learned something got inspired by this video. Um, I'll continue the rest of the beat in the... Well, the rest of the song in the next video. I'm going to add some drums and arrange it, add some ambiance, you know, for the drums I'm thinking very, just more, mostly percussions, so basically like, make it cinematic lo-fi, it's what it is, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like, if you did, I would really appreciate that because it helps me out a lot, if you guys want more content like this, hit the subscribe button down below, uh, again, it really, really helps me and I appreciate that, and this album will come out in January. Uh, but until then, you guys can listen to my whole catalog of other songs that I have out. I have about 100 songs out on Spotify. Uh, so you'll never get bored of my chill instrumental music. <laughs> but yeah, guys, have a good one. And yeah, remember, create to inspire.